Welcome to today's seminar on sediment, sponsored by the Minnesota Soybean uh, Research and Promotion Council and Minnesota Corn Grower Research and Promotion Council. We're pleased and we appreciate their uh, support of this. It should be an excellent day. My name is Giles Randall, soil science, former soil scientist and now professor emeritus of soil science at the University of Minnesota, located at Wasika. Now, I've been here in this area about 40 years when I came from the University of Wisconsin after doing some uh, work in micronutrients. One of my professors down there asked me if I was going to get into tillage and erosion, those kinds of things. I said, Dr. Peterson, that's too complicated for me. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Well, I was here about uh, six weeks and it became very, very obvious that uh, that was the next thing on, on the front. And we made a lot, a of, lot of changes in, in the way we manage our soils and the way we uh, uh, manage the environment, manage the landscape out there in, in the last uh, 40 years. So it's my pleasure to be able to moderate the session this morning. As you came through the doors, you probably were asking yourself, what do I intend to get out of this today? What, what's going to happen? And so uh, the way I would look at it, in the next eight hours, this seminar will focus heavily on the sources of sediment, how sediment gets into rivers, and the role that precipitation, hydrology, and water management play in the delivering of that sediment within the river and downstream. There will be seven Minnesota speakers, people that you've heard from, that you're familiar with, that you can access easily. There will be two out-of-state speakers, internationally, nationally known speakers that will bring their expertise to the system and we're very uh, pleased to have them in our audience and on the, on the program and uh, thanks again to those who sponsored it and enable us to have them on, on today's program. The uh, purpose of the program, if you were to ask the sponsors, I think they would say that the purpose is to present scientific information in a way that improves our overall understanding among crop producers and the ag crop input industry of the factors involved in losing sediment from the landscape, in other words, our fields and our, our edges of our, our rivers and streams, to the river, maybe your river, maybe the Blue Earth, the Watanwan, whatever, wherever you come from, for downstream delivery to the Mississippi River, Lake Pepin, et cetera. So there's a lot of geographic specificity here. We're talking about our rivers, our soils, our land, and so I think we all have a, a, a purpose in that, and uh, I, I think it, it always becomes a little bit more interesting when we're talking about our situation, and that's what this uh, conference is, uh, seminar is intended for. What does it not intend to do? There won't be a lot of information relating to the other uh, sources, or not sources of sediment, but movement of sediment within the fields, uh, the, uh, the erosion that's occurring in the fields, and the uh, uh, infield management, tillage systems, et cetera, and those kinds of things that get, get, can minimize in infield er, uh, erosion. Uh, this has become an interest of mine over the last uh, number of years because you get these questions when you've been in Wasika for 39 years. Have you seen any differences in the soils and the, in the cropping systems out as, you, uh, as you've gone through that 39 year period? Well, for the last 15 years, I've done some pheasant hunting in South Dakota, the latter part of November. Tillage has already been done. You drive along I-90 going west, you've got the sun behind you early in the morning as you're going west. You come back a couple days later, you've got the sun behind you as you're going east. And you see the differences in organic matter in these fields. The, the hills, the side slopes getting lighter in color, and then the dark areas of the, of the more depressional areas, the areas where the uh, uh, sediment or uh, eroded materials are accumulating some. So yes, I would say that we are seeing some differences in the field. It will be interesting. If I was to be a soil scientist again, I would like to start a 30-year experiment where you'd look at the effect over a long period of time of, of soil management. Do it on large fields and do a combine <laughs> yield monitors and layer that information year after year after year to see what effect this is having. So this is a real, real uh, uh, event out here. Uh, today's uh, program, though, will deal mostly on that sediment along the river, getting into the river, the factors relating to that. 
So we've got some outside speakers and I will introduce each one. They'll come up here. You have a, a copy of the agenda. You also have uh, an abstract of what they're going to be talking about. You've got their, uh, their information on, on their background, so I won't go into that very heavily. 